first one is called Dunvegan. It's actually Dunvegan where the trails cross. And these, um, this was a, a, a commercial project. It, it's, um, it's all about Dunvegan, the town north of Alberta. But the um, interesting thing for me was working on these, um, I think it's about a half hour or at least 20 minute film uh, all about the history of, of that area. And uh, the only place you'll actually see is if you go to the information center in Van Bay, and they still play it. <laughs> but the four, there's like a four minute segment that I got to work on, um, which is um, about the, um, the Tenezá people, the far north, and it's their story of creation. And their story actually had never been told uh, with pictures before. It's always been verbally spoken. And so somebody went up and um, recorded the elders um, talking about the story, and then came back here and, and broke, it, broke it all down. And then um, Tom Jackson did the actual narration for it. And so the four minutes were kind of sprinkled throughout this documentary. And what I did was got a hold of the documentary and, and pieced it all back together. <laughs> so there's some kind of weird cuts in between, like, but it, it sort of kind of works anyway. Um, yeah, and uh, this piece actually worked with Kevin Kurtnick. Uh The two of us um, were, were actually scratching this film, and we had to kind of match our drawing style, because it had to look like one person did it, sort of, so it was kind of a challenge doing that. And yeah, we, I don't know how long it took. It took a while. The film is actually drawn on film, <clears throat> and then re-photographed on the Oxbury camera. So we were actually able to do loops and um, shoot things on twos that you normally can't do on cameras film. You're strictly, you know, just like one frame at a time kind of thing. But um, so it's kind of interesting doing that. Um, yeah, and the next piece is uh, the CFNBC trailer. I was asked to do this uh, early in the 2000. And um, I don't know if you've ever seen their old trailer, but it was this giant eyeball. <laughs> and before, like if you rent movies from a Canadian filmmakers distribution center, is um, in, they're located in Toronto and they have a lot of films that are produced by Canadian filmmakers there. It's like a giant library resource center and um, they distribute a, around the world their films. You know, they, they thought it was time for a new trailer, so <laughs> they asked if they could do one and it had some rules. It had to be 30 seconds and I had to include the Canadian flag and I also had to say Canadian Filmmakers Distribution Center. That was for me the hard one. So I said, I don't know if I can do this, I'll call back tomorrow and let you know sort of thing. And I stayed up all night drawing. I, and finally, I bent the words, okay, the Filmmaker Distribution Center, and fit on the frame. So I finally said, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> and, and, it worked. So, and then as I was doing it, I started thinking about what I'm going to do, and, um, and thought um, um, the Canadian filmmakers, so I kind of flipped around like filmmakers of Canada. So you'll see at the beginning, like um, the film strip, the Canadian flag, of course, goes through for Canada. And then this piece of film, it's all multicolored, kind of represent the diversity of Canadian filmmakers. And um, center of distribution instead of distribution center. So there's these radiating circles that go out, and inside each one is their acronym C F M D C. And those letters, like the letter C, um, is the letter C. Do you know letter set of dry letter transfers? Anyway, they're, they're, um, they come in these um, rub, rub off letters. And I use the whole row of the letter C for the C, and then the whole row of the letter F and M and D C for the whole thing like that. So you'll hear what those like, letters sound like. And then at the end, I thought, you know, uh, for people everywhere who would rent those movies from CFMBC, they're so used to seeing that eyeball, right? Giant eye on the screen. So I asked them, and I made it in 35 millimeter, and asked for a 16 millimeter copy of the old trailer as a kind of homage to the person who did that last one. So there's still a little bit of the old one right at the very end anyway. So that how, that's how that will end on that one. And then the next one, oh, so that's 30 seconds. And then, in 2002, I was asked to do the Signal Film for the Ottawa Animation Festival. And um, Signal Film is uh, usually played at the beginning of a festival, and so it reminds people where they are, I guess. I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> and some festivals that are, that are overdone. If you go to all the screenings, you keep seeing it. And, and, and so I thought, <clears throat> I asked Chris Robinson if it would be all right to do something a little different, and it would involve not just myself, but a group of people. And so I started this thing we call it Scratch Track. And, uh, we did in a National Arts Center in Ottawa a live performance of the opening and the closing nights, um, where the, I had four people and projectors. They made the optical sound live while we projected this film that we had spent two weeks making earlier that year. And then they rehearsed for the summer, so they got the synchronization pretty good. And um, and that piece is three minutes. So there's the first of the, but they still wanted this 30 second <laughs> signal film. So we'll see that first, and then we'll see the live performance, and then. Um, and then we'll take another break.